So there's a new change in Node.js, which has been there for a while, but I just heard about this a couple of days ago, and that is the introduction of the new Node protocol. If you're new here, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon. This is free of cost and helps the channel grow. Now what this does as a protocol is that when you use node with a colon and then something in front of it, you explicitly tell the JavaScript engine, the Node.js engine in this case, that you want to use the official Node.js module and not something which is installed as an NPM module. Now, the reason for that, for example, let's say there is, let's assume there is a module called fetch, which is built into node. Let's assume that for now, although there is not. So if I do something like this, then sure, it will work because it's built into node. But what if I install a conflicting node module with the same name? What will happen then? Which module would get imported? So the way the JavaScript resolution, more module resolution works is that Firstly, it will try to look for the module inside your immediate node modules folder, right? Then it will go ahead and try to look for the module in one directory up and then it will continue to do so until it finds that, hey, I want to import it from the global modules folder, right? which is in this case, the one which is the inbuilt module. Similarly, for things like FS, for example, file system module, if you have any sort of malicious module or something which is installed inside node modules, then this would be imported as the module instead of the official one. And in most cases, you probably don't want to have that. You want to import the official module. So now what you can do is you can do a node and then a colon and then the name, name of the module. So if you do something like this over here, and if you try to run this with node, node.js, that is the name of this file, you're gonna see you get the complete, I mean, you get the log of the module imported. So that's that means it's working. And you're gonna get a similar thing even if you remove that. So that's also fine. But if you have node 14 and above, and I think node 14 also has a dependency uh, that you need to have node 14.4. So I think it's node 16 and above, it will automatically work this protocol thing would automatically work. So you can, if you're sure that your environments are running in node 16 and above, you can prefix your modules with the node protocol. You can see a couple of benefits listed over here that the first one is it's clear that this is an inbuilt Node.js module which you're importing. And the example which it shows is the promise imports. So you can do something like this as well, which imports the promised version of the file system library, which returns all the async functions, right? So that's neat. It's first of all very neat in terms of seeing that this is in fact an inbuilt module system. And secondly, like I mentioned, there is no risk that a module in the node modules installed folder would override a built-in module. So in this way, you can pretty much include conflicting node modules as well. The one which is installed with the same name as something which already exists in node. And like it says, it is especially important when Node.js adds a, a newer module, which is a native module. And this is important because Node.js in fact is working on a standard library. So if you take a look at this proposal by TC39, which is built in modules, that is JavaScript standard library. This is probably one of the best things that would happen to JavaScript if this lands because one of the things which NPM ecosystem and JavaScript is frowned upon a lot is that there is no standard library built into JavaScript, which means that even for very small tasks, a lot of people just randomly install any sort of NPM module, which then later leads to some crashes or some rogue developer deleting or just manipulating the source code, which leads to all sorts of problems. So having a standard library system built into JavaScript would be great, but it will also break a lot of existing packages if nodes start releasing inbuilt modules with the same conflicting names. But something like this would fix it greatly because now node can release inbuilt modules without actually breaking the functionality because the existing code bases, the existing functions would keep on working with non-node imports as well. But if you want to opt into using Node.js, all you have to do is prefix it with a node protocol. You can see that with version 16 and above and version 14.18 and above, this syntax works with both node 
import ESM import and common JS required. It's 14.13.1 and 12.20 above. It only works with ESM import. So just to be on the safer side, it's better that you are running anywhere which is above 16. So that's that should put you in a in a safer spot. And of course, this is supported by default in TypeScript with the latest version of Types node. So yep, that's pretty much it. I think it's a really neat addition to Node.js and a much required one for Node to introduce standard library, which looks like they would because they already have a proposal and now this feature is also live. So exciting times ahead for Node.js. Let me know what you think about this feature in the comments below. That is all for this one. I'm gonna see you in the next video really soon. If you're still watching this video, make sure you comment down in the comment section. I watched this video till the end. Also, if you're not part of CodeDamp's Discord community, you're missing out a lot on events which we organize on a weekly basis to code. You already know the drill. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and thank you so much for watching.